Wrestling to me is uh, it's almost everything. There's nothing like toeing the line and just knowing it's you versus the guy across from you. There's no one else to count on. You can't count on a teammate to pick you up in the middle of a match or anything like that. It's just you versus the guy across from you. The most fun and scary thing in the world, right? The thrill of it just kind of just keeps you going. When I was younger, I was looked at as a tough kid in a way. I grew up with a family that was full of athletes. We liked to compete with each other, and as I got into my pre-K and elementary school classes, the teachers would tell my parents, like, you need to find an activity outside of school where he can focus on his strength, his weaknesses, everything, and something that can, you know, take his energy out of the classroom. We got a flyer in the mail one day, and it was for a Motor City Wrestling Club. I went to the Motor City Wrestling Club, uh, went to a few practices, and uh, ended up falling in love with the sport just right then and there. I went through youth, did a lot of traveling around the country, uh, wrestled a lot of dual teams and uh, out of state competition and freshman year of high school. I wrestled 112 and I ended up taking third place at states. And uh, my coaches just told me like, hey man, I think if uh, you can buckle down and take this stuff seriously, you have a bright future in this sport. I kind of ran with it a little bit more after that, quit football and then just focused on wrestling. When I first got to MSU, definitely very different culture-wise of where we are now. When Roger came in, he kind of cleaned the house in a way. He put his foot down and said, you know what, things are gonna change. This is no longer gonna be the school that messes around. We're in the biggest conference in the country, the best wrestling conference in the country by far, and uh, things are gonna have to change. And if you guys don't like it, you know what, uh, the door's right there. To be successful at this level, you know, it takes a commitment, you know, year round. Everybody wants to be good. But are people really willing to sacrifice to do the things necessary to be successful at the highest levels of college wrestling? You prepare, you train, you compete, then you evaluate. And you have to do that year round in order to take steps forward. You know, the biggest thing I demanded of our team at that point in time was, hey, we're gonna do this year round. We're gonna compete in off season events. We're really going to try to progress as a program. After COVID year, when obviously things got rough, uh, we were on and off every single week, never knew if you were gonna wrestle a duel that weekend or get canceled. Roger sat us down and said, I need your help. There's no way I can get all these guys, all 35 of these guys to get on board with the same thing unless their peers are doing it around them, right? The guys who are running this team within the team can push everybody to do what they wanna do. Sure, yeah, you have your coaches that you, you, know, you lean on and you go to for mentorship. But I think the best programs have great leadership within. And I just wanted them to hold each other responsible and doing the right things. Because champions make champion type decisions. It was just a matter of getting those guys on board. And I always knew Lane, you know, was behind me. I took it upon myself to, you know, not only push myself in different ways of training over the summer constantly, um, doing better in the classroom, doing the right things outside of the wrestling room, but to, uh, kind of start bringing people with me. I would put in the, in the group chats, I'm gonna go run the stadium today. Uh, if you wanna get better, come and join me. I'll be there at 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm gonna go into the wrestling room today at 12 o'clock. Come join me if you wanna get a little bit better. You know, not forcefully putting it upon my team and saying this has to be a thing, this has to do this, you have to do that, but giving them the option in a way, but when your captain's going to do something to uh, better himself in the sport, most guys wanna follow. When I was a freshman, I had really good mentors and the seniors, I, I looked up to them a lot. They guided me on my journey and I, what I like to think is kind of pushed me into the, my role that I am in today, you know. When I talk to these freshmen, I just try to give them all the pointers I've had. Obviously, I've been here for six years now. Yep, 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 all the way, all the way, get your head out. I know the ins and outs of the program and I've been through all the competition that you can possibly think of, right? I wrestled national champions, all, multiple time All-Americans. I've had all the experiences that everybody wants to. In many ways, it's like having an additional coach on staff that's actually competing and uh, that's invaluable. You know, there's not much that is going to be unexpected for him. So for him to sit down and, you know, kind of explain to the guys, you know, th this, is, this is where it gets tough. If you're gonna be down on yourself, then it's gonna be hard to get up, but you have to be able to let yesterday be yesterday and move forward with a positive energy. And 
And that's what he tends to do is he, you know, he gets guys looking forward instead of looking back. I really enjoy trying to be a mentor type of thing and uh, kind of pushing these guys to try to make their own paths and do the right thing. It's been fantastic for the program.